Hey everyone, welcome to my review of the King Edward Fun Hotel in Pathos in uh, beautiful Cyprus. Um, I'm going to take you around the hotel and at the end I'll do a quick review of the facility. Coming outside, there are lots of swimming pools here. This one is the kiddies pool. Um, it's not very deep at all. There's the hotel rooms back there. And this pool here is the main pool. So there's a bar over there, the pool extends. We'll walk all the way across. Um, you might notice there are not many people in the pool. And the reason for that is the water is really quite cold. Um, you found the water okay, you guys? Yeah. Yeah, but for kids it was okay. For grown-ups, I thought the water was really cold. And you can see the pool through there. Now, one of the things that I thought was quite interesting about this place is that it says it's a beach resort. And there's a beach just there. Well, let's go and look at the beach because I don't want you guys to be disappointed about the quality of the beach, first of all. Now, and this is kind of where I felt a little bit let down thinking that we're getting a beach hotel. Technically, it is a beach hotel. Let's check. There's normally cyclists who cycle along here, try to find out where to get the bikes from. But this is the beach, as you can see. Nobody else here, so it's pretty secluded. Would you call that sand? Would you call this? It looks like gravel and stuff, doesn't it? Rock, concrete, stone, some flowers. Get a bit closer to the actual water. Kind of abandoned blue barrel over here. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Uh, cables. Wow. <laughs> so well. Yeah, there you are. I don't think I'll be uh, venturing out that far. Yeah. We walked along this really long, long pathway. There's our hotel over there in the distance. We walked all the way around there. It goes on for, for a long, long way. And as we did, actually found an entrance to the beach, <laughs> which is about, I don't know, well, that's our hotel over there, right? And um, here's the entrance to the beach. If you do want to go splishy splashy in the water, um, you can do. There's a walkway just here uh, past our hotel. I don't know if it's a part of our hotel or public beach, but there's a walkway here. There's some steps down here that walk you down to the beach, and there's a ramp over there as well. And you can see there's quite a few people swimming in the sea. I'm not sure how warm it is, I've not gone in. As you walk around, you can see really, they've actually done a really nice job with all these plants. So here we are in the water park. Um, this is included in your thing. It's normally a cost, I think it's five euros for children and 10 for adults. Uh, so it's just across the hotel. Um, up there, that slide I did, it's really ridiculously fast. And then that slide, it swirls around like crazy and you drop you out of that and there's I haven't done those two over there yet I'm not entirely sure I did do that an equivalent one to that one while uh, in Mexico it's not the kind of thing you really want to do twice and now around the edge of a nice little lazy river you just grab a couple of those yellow life those yellow dinghies and just go around over there is the kiddies one um, and they've got lots of kiddies fun things like dolphins squirting water mini slides um, and other things over there and there is another swimming pool you can see beyond there those are the tennis courts and the football field uh, football pitches it's a tennis court you can go to reception and hire the tennis rackets from there it's a single tennis court so which means if someone's on there you probably won't then over on this side is the oh, it's five a side football pitch um, Again, you can hire the balls from reception. And here we are at dinner time now. Um, so, same setup as breakfast. You have a, a live cooking dish for Angus beef. Well, until we'll come back to the dessert counter at the end. Um, the soup sale felt very good actually. I, I generally went for a soup first. There's onion leek with some croutons. And um, I won't open up all of these. You can kind of get a glimpse in at what people are eating. Actually, I did have this. This was really good, wasn't it? As they does, with some uh, spring rolls. Actually, do, do we know what the theme of tonight was? 
Chef's night. Chef's night, right. Hair, hair was a very nice fish. I went veggie for this holiday, well, veggie and fish, so I was mostly around hair. Um, and then the same thing with the um, salad bars. Salad's really good. Those sauces that are on the back door, I definitely recommend a visit of those. Um, I just wanted to quickly just focus in on the dessert. Here's the, the bread, and this is if you or your children are not that adventurous. Did you sample these chips? How were they? Good. They were good. Were well, they are chips? Did you sample the boiled vegetables? Yes. Yes. Fish nuggets tonight? No. No. Oops. Yeah, it looks very healthy. I'm sure how much water has gone into that. And then there's always this pasta bolognese and plain pasta. Your children aren't that adventurous. I just want to show you for desserts. Yeah, this was really good. I did have this one. I do admit it. I had a nice slice of that. The baklava was very good. Uh, always some kind of tart, pear, fruit tart, obviously. Fruit salad if you want to go healthy. Fruits which are very healthy. And some kind of local biscuit. This black forest gatto is very nice. And cakes. This was uh, quite exceptional, this pistachio roll. I mean, I didn't actually taste much pistachio in there. And then there's always a custard element of the dessert as well. So that was excellent. Uh, generally, the food I thought was very good. I didn't have much of the meat, but I can imagine it was pretty good as well. So that is our restaurant. Did it? Oh, someone's going back for seconds. So there you go. So I've shown you around the hotel, shown all the facilities, and just generally I'll give you my thoughts on um, what I thought of a hotel and um, if you're thinking about coming here, some of the things you might want to consider. Uh, so generally I thought the hotel was very good. I, I thought it's really, really a good hotel. It's potentially perhaps not the best hotel I've ever stayed in, but the children, they seem to have a good time. And frankly, the children are having a good time, then the parents are having a good time. Um, I think the pools were a little bit cold, um, but the children didn't seem to mind that the water was cold. I, from what I understand, I think the logic is as it heats up, as it gets more into the summertime, the pools themselves will heat up. Um, I came in April and the average temperature around here in April was between 19 and 21 as a top temperature. The, obviously make it will get hotter I imagine as the, the months come on and may heat the water up. What else did I think? I thought the food, the food was very good. Uh, it should be noted none of the, the food here wasn't halal so I pretty much went veggie. <laughs> I went veggie and fish for the entire holiday. I didn't miss meat by the way but um, I thought even then the food was really high quality. They're fresh salads every day, the food uh, the veggie options are very good. Everything was clearly marked, whether it was dairy-free, gluten-free, etc. So they cater for all different types of diets. Well, nearly all different types of diets. Um, the desserts were really good. <laughs> I have to say, uh, probably in, overindulged on that slightly. The I spoke to some of the waiting staff, and they told me that it's, everything is freshly made on the day of the when they serve the food, including the desserts and everything. So the food, yeah, I can't fault it really. I mean, I didn't try any of the meat dishes, but from the looks of some of the other guests, they seem to be very good indeed. The, they had a gym here. I did go to the gym a couple of times, contrary to popular belief. Um, gym was fine, it's okay. Had everything you needed. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't, wasn't like a, a gym that you, you'd pay a lot of hefty membership for. They had a sauna and a spa, a, um, what do you call it, a jacuzzi. It's, the jacuzzi only fits four people in, so you, it may be full when you go. The sauna's quite big, I think it could hold about six to eight people. Um, I know very good, very good, it's very hot in there, obviously. Um, what else did I think about it? The rooms, well, the rooms were okay. Probably the pillows were a bit on a thin side, so you may have to ask for a second pillow. But I don't know, those are just really minor points, really. Everything about this hotel was fine. Uh, the staff were really friendly. There's, if you do get a little bored of things to do around the hotel, there are places to go nearby. You can catch a taxi into town for either eight euros or 10 euros, depending upon where in town you're going. 
what I liked was everything was a fixed price. So with whichever sector of this, the town you go to, it'll either be eight euros or 10 euros. So you know what you're going for or what it's going to cost you. The, we went to a Tomb of the Kings, which was very good. And we went to Paphos Castle today. Which is again, I'll put there's a link to both videos somewhere in here. I'll try to stick it up here where I'm pointing to if I can figure out the YouTube algorithm um, or the editing software. The YouTube al figuring out the YouTube algorithm is a bit of a different job. Um, but yeah, the taxi drives are good. Everyone spoke English. Fine, the staff were very good. Generally, it's, it's a good hotel. I mean, I, if you're coming here, I, if you're coming to Paphos, then uh, obviously I haven't checked out every hotel in Paphos, but I could recommend this. I could ha happily say, come to this hotel and give it a visit. So generally, yeah, excellent holiday, uh, wonderful hotel. Oh, I should say the best thing about it <laughs> was um, was the water park. Um, normally that would cost 10 euros for children, 15 euros for adults. So for four of us, that'd be 30, 40, 50 euros. And we pretty much went four times during our stay. So that in itself is quite quite a lot of uh, money you would have spent otherwise. It's all inclusive as well, so you don't have to pay anything for that. We went on three of the four rides. Um, the best one was the, I think it's a white and blue one where you take a raft. It wasn't too fast, it was, it was fine and you land nicely. So yeah, good hotel, loved it, can't fault it. Um, well, <laughs> a couple of minor things, very real, just niggles. Thank you for watching the review. Uh, please hit subscribe, please hit like. You can, I will uh, generally, if, if you look through my channel, you'll see lots of days out of reviews that I do um, in, a, in and around the London area, plus any holidays I go on. There's, this is a link, hopefully I'll get a link up here to the holiday I went to in Dalaman, at the Hilton in Dalaman, which was probably the best family resort I've been to. And come visit me at www.workingparent.info and I shall, yeah, remember I have said hit subscribe, so please do hit subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.